When I was in Oxford doing my PhD, my job was to develop a spider seal, which is amazing materials, into a structural applications. During my final year, I got sponsored to do a Science Innovation Plus program inside the business school, funded by EPSRC. So the idea is to promote uh, scientists, students to learn more about technology transfer so that they can develop their ideas into business. When we finished the program and there was a competition about using European Space Agency's intellectual properties to develop products. So at that time I've been taking care of my nephew and it's been a chaotic disaster for me to be honest. And I can think, I can see like um, if I have a baby, I won't be able to go traveling very easily because um, the babies can crawl everywhere. <laughs> so I came up with this idea about developing a travel cot, which is lightweight, easily deployable and safe. So we developed a business plan during the competition. So we won the first prize and we got huge support from Science Business School, University of Oxford and European Space Agency here to set up our startup. Being right at the heart of the, um, the growing space cluster that's in the UK at the moment at Harwell Oxford is uh, fantastic. We have clean rooms, lab space and all that sort of stuff that's available to enable people to come and work with us to develop their technologies that are available for space as well. And we'll take them through the research and development process, take them through the commercialisation process, understanding their markets, approaching initial customers, so that by the time they finish uh, the incubation period, which is a maximum of two years, we would hope that they're in a position to be ready to go to market or be leading with the prototype that they can then demonstrate to investors to get that next stage of funding to take them forward. I flew to Holland to talk to the scientists who originally developed this pattern, but then we start to find a problem. Like, it can open easily, but it can't close. And that is because in a satellite, you don't have to close it, they stay there forever. I got to know Dr. Yu Zhong, expert on deployable structure. So he helped us to develop another pattern based on the ESA pattern. If you take an umbrella, you need to pack it when it's sunny, so you can carry it around. And when it's rainy, then you open it up. So the geometric transformation of an umbrella is, is huge. The travel court is also a very challenging application. And uh, I am always interested to see how deployable structures can be used in real life. Now we are prototyping this structure and hopefully we can actually show our product to you very soon. I think it's a great product that people will really appreciate. I hope we can go a long way and develop actually a range of products, for example, for disaster relief, in case there was a hurricane, you need quickly deployable large dome structures. I think we can deliver that on the long run, and I think this is also what excites us all really much in the team. The most urgent things you always need are senior people that can, can guide you when it comes to decision making. Of course, financial support, which is very important to develop the product, also to sustain yourself. I think Howell, Howell is a good, good place to incubate uh, your business, also for young students, because you have the support facilities and you're in a nice ecosystem, you can speak with other entrepreneurs. A lot of people think entrepreneurship is sort of a solo, lonely person working forever on his or her own. And I think all the research data and a lot of our experience says entrepreneurship is actually collective action. It's working with other people and it's finding the kind of right people for the team and finding the mentors and finding the funders and then turning all of that energy into something distinctive and, and novel. The school offers a wealth of resources, people, expertise, the experience of alumni, the experience of mentors and uh, uh, people in the community who are very interested in those questions. We have a seed fund, we have a venture fund, so there's financial capital that's aimed at different moments in those early stages. We have the, the possibility to really do something we're passionate about, develop our own products, and people are actually not telling us what to do. I mean, it's, it's our choice. We have advisors, of course, that advise us, but in the end of the day, it's our choice. The people that are here are just, just so exciting. You know, there's so many uh, different things that they can do, and you know, it's inspiring. You've got some ideas, you've got some energy. Let's come work together and turn those ideas and energy into something that nobody could have imagined.